Hello people, in this video we will review PC build, which I would call perfect balance, that PC build suits for ultra settings in any game title, also for streaming and rendering, plus for its money this is an amazing and multi-purpose option. That PC build was built for 2K gaming, also for RTX technology, at the same time you can stream, and the main point is the price, between 1K and 1100 euro. In description I will leave for you bonus code for computer universe website. It gives you discount on 5 euro. Let's start from power supply. We have from Chief Tech on 600 watts. Model name GPE 600S. Has 85 plus certificate and all needed cables. SSD from light on on 240 gigs for Windows and few games. This SSD would be enough. Good price and speed and HDD on 1 terabyte from Toshiba company. For its price, this is a good and stable disk for archives and heavy games. The memory RAM from Team Group. Model name. Vulcan the therefore type. Default frequency is 3200. I overclocked that to 3600. Two sticks on 8 gigs each. We have 16 gigs in summary. CPU we have a fresh one. MD Ryzen 5 3600 from MD. CPU has 6 cores and 12 threads. Frequency in stock is 3.6, in turbo 4.2, and for all cores almost 4 GHz. Cache load 332 megabytes. TDP is only 65 watts. Perhaps the best CPU on this moment. I mean price to performance, fits good for games and render. Motherboard from Gigabyte Company on LJM4 model B450 Aorus M. This is a not bad mobile for its money, has a small size, at the same time all needed inputs. Supports up to 64 gigs memory RAM, can overclock CPU and memory. After bias flashing, supports new CPU Ryzen 3rd generation. Pretty okay VRM components and looks like a gaming mobile. Graphic card from Nvidia, also fresh RTX 2060 Super, has 8 gigs of VRAM and high working frequency, supports a retracing technology, this is the better version of RTX 2060, pretty same performance as 2070 in a bench, for that price is a good option. Yeah I know about RX 5700, which is probably a better option, but it does not have RT cores, and at the moment there is only reference cooling system, which is allowed and working badly. All videos I will record by using Shadowplay, which is also loads our GPU, on 1 or 2 percentage more, so we can add few FPS on the final results. The first game on our test is Rage 2. The game is pretty new and fresh, all settings on ultra and full HD resolution. I put it all on maximum, aliasing and other stuffs. The game runs perfectly, playing on APA Vulcan. In average, we have 97 FPS, which is enough for that kind of game. System does not overloading. We have enough free resources. No questions for gameplay, our PC can easily run the game. Next game on our test is PUBG, same maximum settings and full HD resolution. Resolution scale on 120. And here also system does not have a lot. In average we have 89 FPS. Some rare pulsations on the graph, but without recording everything is ok. Almost nobody playing on that settings. On middle low you will see I assume that 200 FPS. GTA 5 on our test, here is also all on maximum, MSAA on 8, so it's uh, like we have 4K resolution here. We can see that GPU loads on almost on a 100%, CPU loading on 50-60%, however everything is looks like ok. Gameplay is straight and smooth, no any problems found here, even on the fake 4K resolution.
The next game on our test is Watch Dogs 2, all settings on the highest and the full HD resolution. The game loads well the CPU. Sometimes CPU loading is up to 90%. When you drive fast through the city, there is 65 FPS in average, which is for that game is enough. At the same time, FPS graph and time good. Picture quality looks also appealing, so you can play in Watch Dogs 2 on ultra settings. The Witcher 3 on our test, all values on highest one and moreover Nvidia hard works on the high. The GPU loading very well, CPU loading sometimes up to 85%. In average you have 96 FPS, which is for Witcher 3 is a good. On the FPS graph we have pulsations sometimes, but this is because of the shadow play. Without video recording everything is ok. Next game on our test is Battlefield 5. So here I decided to load system on the maximum. All settings on Ultra and Full HD resolution. DirectX 12 and RTX on also. The system is fully loading. Picture quality looks amazing. So all these shadows and flashes. Yeah, it looks very well. In average we have 57 FPS in average. Sure in multiplayer you can't play like that. Anyway, I am online everything playing on low settings. To get maximum FPS as it possible. But finish that game in single player mode, I'm sure you you can on that settings. The last game on our test is Metro Exodus, all settings on Ultra and Full HD resolution. Also, here is all on maximum, the hairs, RTX and DirectX 12, so the system loading on its maximum. At the same time, we have a good gameplay and good quality picture, and more than 60 FPS in average, what allows you to enjoy the game and also the newest technologies. The frame graph and time also looks good, you can finish that game on that settings for sure. Last thoughts about that PC. On my opinion, I reached my goal. Right now, today, this is a good option. If you build it yourself, the price would be almost 1100 euro. At the same time, you have all modern features, like tracing and good performance though. If you are going to order on Computer Universe, I have a bonus code for you in description. By using that code, you will get 5 euro discount. Thanks all for watching that video, I hope you like my videos, please click on thumbs up and write a comment under the video. Good luck and see you in the next one.